welcome honored guests. And for all of you who are new to our venue, we would like to invite you to share in some street theater. Last November, 14 members of Occupy Philadelphia staged a citizen's foreclosure on Wells Fargo Bank for robbing the city of Philadelphia and for their failure to pay their debt to society. All 14 protesters were arrested. But we ask, who are the real criminals? To answer that question, we turn to the story of Wells Fargo in our city. Please join us for the performance of the Fat Cat in the Hat, a Wells Fargo unfairy tale. Our story begins, as you may well know, with a very rich banker and his bank, Wells Fargo. The banker was proud, his bank one of four, of our country's largest, but he still wanted more. When he first came to town, he let out a yelp. I'm from Wells Fargo, we're here to help. The residents believed him, signed the dotted line, but their goodwill was greeted with foreclosure signs. Little did they know, in return for the loans, good old Wells Fargo would kick them out of their homes. Hundreds of families, mother, brother, child, were out on the street, and the banker just smiled. They're kicked to the curb, but hey, more for me. Now on to the schools, he chuckled with glee. As he clambered on board, he cruelly opined. The city's got money, I will make it mine. And like others before, the school district too was duped into deals too good to be true. Left swindled and broke the parents and children, while Wells Fargo Bank made off with millions. And the banker, he grinned, just look at these fools, line my pockets with money that should go to schools. What's that? Owe me more? The big banker laughed, just fire more nurses, hell, cut half the staff. But as he posted his profits, counted loot he'd amassed, from the bushes rang out, stop, not so fast. Occupy Philly, armed with justice and facts, held up the stagecoach for the bank's evil acts. They foreclosed on the bank as the banker just cowered. You see, he'd forgotten about people power. So the people staged a citizen's foreclosure to bring the bank's crimes into public exposure. As the banker retreated, the people rejoiced. He tried to trick us, but we have a voice. So the families had homes, and the students could learn. They lived happily until the banker returned. He came with the cops, with the law on his side. When truth is a crime, there is nowhere to hide. All the protesters were arrested on sight and hauled off to Roundhouse to be locked up tight. So if you are angry to live in a country 
where justice is jailed while bankers go free. If you find this ending unhappy and vile, well, the story's not over. No, 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 no.